Hello, this is Trog, and today I am going to be showing you how to install data packs on a Minecraft server or single player world. So, right now I'm on the Raven SMP server. We've got a few people on, but if we look, we do have a lot of data packs installed. So, we have custom crafting, we have advancement packs, we have uh, let's see, we have statistic trackers, we have a whole bunch of stuff, so very useful for multiplayer. So let's get into how I installed this on this server. First off, you're going to need to know how to install a data pack on a single player world because it's almost exactly the same as the server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Minecraft and create a single player world. Um, we'll make it creative just so we can test a few things out. So first you generate the world. This is the same for a server. I'll show you that too. But it prepares the terrain and it makes all the files that you're going to need to go to in order to install this. It's not a Minecraft version thing. It's a world thing. So now that we're in the world um, and it's created, you don't have to exit it. You just have to go down here if you're on Windows and you type in run and you type this command in here percent sign app data percent sign and we go to our dot minecraft folder we go to our saves and new world that's the one i just created and then data packs right here so i'll go through that again because i was a little fast so we go to our saves folder inside of our dot minecraft we then go to new world the world that we created we want to put the data pack in and then data packs so now that we've navigated to our data packs folder we want to drag and drop the data pack we want to install i'm going to do tree capitator because that is a very easy data pack to show that it is working and now we can go back to minecraft and once we're in minecraft we just type in the command reload and you can see that it pops up with a whole thing saying tree capitator has been enabled. So if we go and grab ourselves a axe here, now that we're in survival and we have an axe, we can just and show that this tree capitator one does in fact work. So that's how you install it in a normal Minecraft world and it is the exact same for servers so let me show you so now that you know how to install it on a normal single player it's almost exactly the same for a Minecraft server so if we open up this is the folder that I host a Minecraft server on my computer if I'm hosting it on my computer and we go to the world that's generated it's just titled world data packs it's the exact same thing all you have to do is go drag and drop what data pack you want we'll do weakened bedrock for this one you drag that in drop it and you can start the minecraft server and it will be loaded onto that server here's another example of installing it on a minecraft server this is actually a host for a minecraft server this is where raven smp is hosted from pebble host so if we go to ftp access for anything like this sort of thing at all if you have this ftp access you're gonna have to log in normally yep there we go so now that we've logged in you can see the world and we open up the world i go to data packs and there's all the data packs. So if I wanted to install, say, another version of Blazes and Caves Advancement Pack, all I'd have to do is drag and drop, and it would upload those files. And there are should be tutorials for uploading worlds. You can also do that so that you don't have to do this. My last example for how you can do this for servers is Minecraft Realms. So if you have a Realms, I used to, so I still have some of the stuff here, but I don't have everything. And you go to your world backups. You can make a world backup. You can download the latest world and then do the exact same thing that we did for single player, which is we found that 
Save Files Data Packs folder. We copied and pasted it in, and then what you can do is you can upload that world back to your realms, and that will give you the data packs you want. So hopefully you learned from this video and you can experience the joy of data packs and how much fun they can be. Uh, this has been Trog, and I will see you in the next video.